So we're going to ALS, you know, this horrible disease that has degenerative disease that people will die from eventually, you know, Lou Gehrig disease that gets worse and worse. We had a paper that predicts time until death. But wouldn't it be interesting to predict other things like time until you can't swallow, time until you can't move, time until you can't feed yourself? How do you cope with that? So I'm working with ALS people who are really interested in this question, as am I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you cope with multiple events? I just want to say, like, that could have a huge effect on people's quality of life. Like, if you know you're going to have a disease, knowing when you die, that tells you something. But also knowing how things are going to change over the course of the disease. Exactly. You can plan, like, if you want to go skydiving, that's a yeah. tomorrow thing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. You definitely prepare a little bit. And, I mean, I think it probably helps dealing with that if you have a little more, more information. Right. And once again, my interest, of course, is not just what happens next, but what can I do about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a treatment that, you know, again, imagine, again, this is not, not the case, but imagine there was a treatment that, that delayed the loss for lower body problems. Mm. If I knew that was happening, but, but I might have some other side effects. If I knew it was happening soon, I might decide to do it. Yeah. Again, actionable decisions, right? Not just, here's what's happening. Here's what you can do about it. Right? Yeah, providing people with more, more information to make more informed exactly. choices. Exactly.